School lunch debt is crippling many in North Carolina school districts right now. At the end of the year, districts can be on the hook for hundreds, if not thousands, in unpaid school lunch debt. Now, as districts ask, where's the money here? The recently passed North Carolina budget is helping to reduce the financial burdens that schools have with a new program. WCNC Charlotte Shamaria Morrison joins us live from CMS and Shea. How will this program for the future at least work here? Well, you have a group of students who don't qualify for free lunch, but they also don't have to pay the full price of lunch. Those students that are in between, those who uh, fall under the reduced lunch price, well, this new program would actually cover the cost of lunch for them, and that means they will now have free lunch. That's going to impact hundreds of thousands of North Carolina students, and many of them are in the CMS school district. CMS is on the hook for almost half a million dollars worth of unpaid lunch balances from last school year. Almost 14,000 students had an unpaid balance. There are many families out there who just don't quite qualify for free or reduced price meals, but are still struggling to feed their families given the high cost of food and gasoline right now. The School Nutrition Association has long advocated for all states to have universal lunch for every child. Currently, unless a state or a local district can afford to cover the balance, Families can pay upwards of $15 a week for lunch per student. Just because a family has an income that exceeds the threshold for a free or reduced price meal, uh, that family might be struggling with high health care costs um, or another emergency that is taking away a significant portion of their income. Although not universal meals, the recently passed North Carolina budget would cover the cost of a reduced price school meal for families who don't qualify for a free meal currently. The money from the state would make tens of thousands of students eligible for free meals instead of just reduced price ones. What do those families look like? We're talking a family of three with a household income of about $46,000 a year or less. With more students to be able to get free lunch, it's extremely important. We know that health and nutrition is really important for our brains to work. We as adults need it. If I don't eat, I'm hangry. And so we want to make sure that our students have um, healthy meals so they can do their very best work every single day. Now, CMS is still looking through the entire budget and looking at everything and how it's going to apply to the district. So we don't know yet how many students this will apply to. They are having a budget meeting today, so we should have more clear answers as the weeks come by. Live at CMS headquarters, Shamari Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.